So, you got your subwoofers out the box. Or you bought a subwoofer from somebody. And you need to know what the coils read. And it may not tell you on the back. This one does. It says WDX65G1.4. If you know how to read the model on the sub, most of the times when you see a 4 and a 2 and you wonder what that means, the 4 and the 2 probably tells you what the coils are. But there's also other configurations on coils. You got 4-ohm coils, 2-ohm coils. Jay Auto used 3-ohm, dual 3-ohm coils. Uh, 1.5 uh, coils. You got D1.5, D1. Uh, and the D means dual. Uh, you see a sub on the back says D4, D2. The, the number is the ohm load of the, the D stands for dual. So it's two four ohm coils. D2, two two ohm coils. D1.5, two 1.5 ohm coils. D3, dual three ohm coils. D1, dual one ohm coils. D.7, dual 0.7 coils. Those ratings on the coil are used to give a certain uh, ohm load to the amplifier and tell the amplifier what power to produce. Okay? That's another video. Let's just stay what we can use. Keep it simple. You got a motor, you got a sub, whether you bought it fresh out of the box and you want to make sure the coils read correctly. Or you bought it from somebody for a good price. I say you say you got to find a sub that's five hundred dollars. Guy selling on marketplace or something, or or cardio classifies or eBay, and he said he's selling this five hundred dollars sub for two fifty. And you want to harp on it, but you need to know you want to jump on it. But the first thing you know is, dude, when you actually get the if it's in your presence, if you're meeting him somewhere, or if you bought it and got it to your to your you got to ship to your destination. You need to know does the cause read what you what it was listed as? How are you gonna know? You can, you're gonna get your trusty multimeter. You're gonna turn it. Mine's you're gonna turn this this little you know that Omega 5 Q Dog symbol. Uh right here. You see that? Let me see if I put it on the camera. Let's show. You see that? That symbol means ohms. Okay, so you take the multimeter, and you turn it to that symbol. Now, in subwoofers, red means positive, black means negative. In actuality, electricity moves from negative to positive, but they list it like that so you can tell in electricity, most of the lighter colors are always positive. Black means negative. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's, I ain't going to say that. <laughs> but anyway, so what you do? You take the red, red, uh, oh, I forgot what this thing called, lead, put it into your subwoofer, put it into the uh, speaker wire. You take the black, tensile lead, I mean, speaker terminal, well, I'm, well, I mean, all over the place. You take the black and put it on the negative. Then, the best way, because as you talk, this spider can move noise. A lot of things can cause the suspension to move, which will affect the ohm load. And that's why I'm telling you about impedance rise. If you push on the coil, if you move it around, your resistance is going to go up in your wire. But a good way to check your ohm load, hook, it, hook up the terminals, and then walk away. Three to five minutes. In a quiet environment, so that nothing is acting, there's something, nothing is acting on the uh, spider or the cone or the surround, and gradually it will get to a resting place, and that will be your ohm load. As I'm talking, I can see the ohm load rise up. Now these are dual. This is a D4, so the coils should read three, either three to four. Most four-ohm coils read 3.6. If you get a good uh, so it might read 3.2, 3.3. The less of the ohm load, the less resistance. Ohm is the resistance in the wire. So you get four-ohms resistance versus two-ohms resistance. Remember I told you in other videos, 
the less resistance you get, the more power you get, but the less control you have over it. Watch the other videos. The less resistance you have in the wire, the more power you get from the amplifier, but the less control you have over that power. Okay? So, these are dual four subs. So, I'm looking for a ohm reading between three and four. 3.6, 3.8, 3.5, whatever, but three something. If it's below three, it is not a dual four. It is a dual two. Well, with that being said, what did this core read? This core read three point could say I'm moving, three point five, which is which is correctly what it should be. It's bouncing around because as I'm if I hit the table, watch this. Watch this. Anything I do, even my voice is causing the suspension to move. It's causing the, believe it or not, it's moving infinitesimal, but it's moving enough for the most of you to pick it up. But three, anything between three and four means this is a dual four. Uh, it's, this core reads fine. If it's dual four and it reads anywhere between three and four, then it's, that core is fine. If it reads above four, you've been clipping. The sub has been clipping. If it's read 4.2, 4.5, it's been clipped. If it reads five something, oh, it's fit to go. The core is fit to go. It, it's, it's been burnt. It's been fried. It's no good. <laughs> Any deal for a sub, it should read under the number. Whatever the core rating is, it should read under. At slightly above means it's clipping. So if it's a D4 and it reads 4.1, 4.2, that sub has been clipped. If it reads a whole one, a whole number higher than what it's supposed to be rated at, the, the cells fit to go. Okay? So, this core is 3.3, .3, which is in between 3 and 4, so the core is fine. But you got dual coils. So, that just because you check one core doesn't mean the other core is correct. So, what you want to do is take it out. Take your subwoofer. Turn it to the other core. And you want to do the same thing. Now, make sure you're not touching on the inside. There you go. That core should read within a tenth of what the other read. So if I say the other core, we only read with 3.5. It's bound between 3.3 .3 and 3.5. Well, the other core, its partner, its twin, should read the same thing, which this one does. 3.3, 3.5, .3, okay. So now we know both cores on this subwoofer are good. Remember, if you're checking the subwoofer with your multimeter, got to have this tool here with your multimeter. Whatever the cores are rated, if it says D4, it needs to read between three and four. If it says D2, it needs to read between two and three. If it says D1, it needs to read between one and two. If it says D.7, it needs to read between 0.5 and one. Watch this video again so you know exactly what you're supposed to read. If whatever your rating is of the core, for example, it's, these are D4. It reads between three and four. If it reads at four or higher, the sub has been clipped. The, the coil is damaged. If it reads a whole number higher, it's D4, and it reads a whole number, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. So if it reads a whole number higher, which is one, and it reads, I say it reads, it says D4, it reads, but it, the, the meter tells you it's, it's five. The core reads five ohms. Five ohms. That in it is, is, is damaged. Don't buy it. It's fit to go. <laughs> you're not going to get the power you're thinking you're going to get out the amplifier. Because the higher your resistance in the wire, the yes, the more control you have, but that's not the, it's not going to give you the loudness that you're looking for because the cores don't read correctly. Yes, I'm going to show a video how to hook up cores in series and parallel. Right now, this video is just how do we get, how do we read, know we got 
good coils. You can do this with the speaker here, or you can do it inside the box. You got to speak in the box, just put this in the terminal. Maybe they got two terminals that ride up both, both coils. Maybe only got one terminal. But if it's got whatever it is, and you know what it's supposed to read, oh, this enclosure with the sub and it reads uh, one ohm, then it should read between one and two. Or slightly under. If it reads under what it's read, at, you're fine. Because any subwoofer that's clipped or has been damaged is not going to read under. The resistance is always going to go higher. So the if the sub has been damaged and it's a D4, it's not going to read 2 ohms. <laughs> it's not going to read less than what it's rated at. It's going to read higher than it's rated at if it's been damaged. So you, it's about, oh, it's D4 sub. And then when you hook it up, the ohm load is 2.5. No, this is a D2 sub. No, I mean, it's a D4 sub. No, no. When I set it up the multimeter, walked away and let it sit three, five minutes, came back and said D, it, it said between whatever, 2.5, 2.6, 2.2, 2.2, anything. That means it's a, two, it's a dual two. Let's say you put the multimeter and it reads less than that. Then that, and if it's a dual sub, then the whole core should read the same thing. Okay? So if this, I say this is a D2 sub. These coils read, okay, we're not keep it like this. This is D4 sub. So this coil reads 3.3. .3. This coil reads 3.3. .3. But let's say we one, one read 3.3 .3 and the other one read 5.6. The other coil has been damaged. Is that possible? Yes. You can have one coil that's been clipped and damaged, and the other one be fine. Mm -hmm. But chances are they're going to be close to clipping on each other. So if this was, I say it's a whole number. This is D4 sub. One coil read 5.6. I'm pretty sure the other core is gonna read five or four point nine. It's gonna be it's gonna be clipped as well. But one coil can read higher than the other if it's been damaged. Okay. Can you have a dual one and can you have two coils with like a D four on one side and D two on the other side? No, not possible. Not gonna do that. Not because the subwoofer wouldn't play. The coils must be in line with each other. It must be the same. You can't have a D one. You can't have a one home core and a, an oil core reads lower or higher. Whatever core reads the highest, the core that's been clipped. So it was a, whatever core reads the highest, that's the core to be different. You got a, let's say you got a sub and you read uh, 2.6 here, and over here you read uh, 3.6. The, the woofer is whatever the lower number was. The higher number is the core that's been damaged. Say that again. You got a sub that reads 3.3 on one end. And on the other end, on, the, on one core, on the other core it reads uh, 1.9. So what is it? It's a dual two. Oh, yeah. It's a dual two sub. And the high number means that that core has been damaged. So if you got a dual voice core sub and one number is lower than the other number, Take the lower number, and that's what the sub really was. Whatever the lower number was, it was you know, 1.9, it's a dual one. I say it was a 2.6, it was a dual two. Whatever the lower number is, that's what the cause was when the subwoofer was fine. The higher number means that the sub has now been damaged. This core is no longer reading with the lower core read, so this is the core that has been damaged. They should be within a tenth of each other. So I got this one read 3.3. .3, the other core read 3.3 .3 as well. If this said 3.3 .3 and this one said 5, it was a dual 4 sub. Because you round up. It's a dual 4 sub. But this, this core has been clipped. Okay? I hope I was able to explain that to some of y'all the way uh, that you can understand it. Please like and subscribe, share this video with others. others. Uh, hit the like button if this made perfect sense to you. Uh, remember, I made you, I told you everybody what you can use to diagnose your system as a multimeter, and I'm just showing you different things that you can do to try to say it. Now, remember, it said D4, but the cores keep reading three. That's fine. It can say it can say D2, and the cores read 1.8, 1.9. That's fine. As long as it reads less 
than what the coils were rated by the manufacturer, you're fine. If it reads higher than what the coils rated by the manufacturer, your sub has been clipped, it's damaged. Watch this video 15 minutes over and over again till you understand fully on how to check out your subwoofer. Because sometimes if guys are, man, my sister ain't hit like I used to. Check the ohm load. In the box or out the box. If the ohm load, you had them wired down to one, and now you check the uh, system, you, you put the, the, the terminal to, to the speaker leads on the box, and it's reading, you had it wired to one ohm load, now it's reading 2.5, uh, 2.9. You clip, your cells are damaged. Believe it or not, it's sub damage. Whatever you had to read, my sub, my box right now, they read when they're not playing like right now. I'll show you tomorrow. Uh, I'll pop, possibly do a video on that too as well. They read one, they read point eight. And if I walk away for a little while, three, five minutes, it'll go to like point nine or one. And since I got wired down and one on, I'm fine. Anything less than one, I'm fine. If it reads higher, one of the four has been clipped. Okay? One of the four has been clipped. I don't have to take them out to test them. If I, I feel something's wrong, I hear like I smell something, or I don't like, I mean, it just ain't loud as it used to be. I'm always checking. I check my system with my multimeter all the time. I just let the seats down on, on uh, not only I undo the wires, and just put it inside the, the speaker wire. I ain't got to touch the box, I put it into the speaker wire. I know it should read. Under one ohm, point eight's fine, point nine's fine, one's fine, one point one's wrong, one point two, one anything higher than one ohm, my cells have been clipped. I'll show y'all that in another video. Get this tool, you need it.